Turbidity is the turbidity of a liquid caused by suspended particles. Some light will be scattered on the surface of these suspended particles, resulting in reduced transparency of the liquid. For example, filtered apple juice is transparent. And unfiltered apple juice still contains pulp, so it looks turbid. Let us take a look at how turbidity measurement works. The first standard that can make comparable turbidity measurements is based on Formazin developed in 1926 as a reference. It is also the only standard reference material that can be highly reproducibly produced so far. Formazine can form suspended solids of various shapes and sizes. Therefore, all turbidity units are defined by Formazine standard solution. In measurement, turbidity not only depends on the reliability of the standard solution, but also has a relationship with the measurement light source. ISO 7027 stipulates that non-visible infrared light sources must be used. The US EPA 180.1 standard uses visible white light sources. The units of turbidity are different according to different standards. ISO stipulates that the unit is FTU or FAU. EPA stipulates that the turbidity unit of the scattering method should be NTU. The scattering turbidimetry and transmission turbidimetry are the two most widely used methods. Darufuno's OPTU series turbidity sensor uses an infrared scattered light to measure turbidity. The sensor is based on the 90 degree infrared scattering method of the ISO 7027 standard and measures the turbidity value of the sample according to the intensity of scattered light from suspended particles in the water sample. It is suitable for measuring the turbidity of various types of sewage. The turbidity sensor is widely used in urban sewage treatment, drinking water plant monitoring, and industrial process control. In summary, turbidity sensors play an important role in ensuring water quality safety, environmental protection, and water treatment control. By monitoring the clarity of water bodies in real time, turbidity sensors help monitor and maintain the health of water bodies. They are important tools for water quality management and environmental monitoring.